Pope Francis's health is improving and he started working again after being hospitalised with a respiratory infection. That's according to a Vatican spokesman who also said treatment for the pontiff is ongoing. All of this comes as preparations for Easter events were underway on Thursday. The Pope was unexpectedly taken to Rome's Gemelli Hospital on Wednesday after complaining of breathing difficulties. It's not clear when Francis might leave the hospital, though the Vatican said he was expected to spend a few days there. Italian news agency ANSA reported earlier that nursing staff were very optimistic that he could be discharged ahead of Palm Sunday celebrations on April 2nd, the start of a hectic week of ceremonies leading to Easter Sunday on April 9th. It's not yet clear if the Pope will be able to take part in the various services, even if he were to leave hospital by the weekend. The Catholic Church's faithful have come out to show their support for the pontiff. I hope he recovers well and soon, because we need a pope like him, who continues to give us strength and hope. Our faith, we believe that Pope Francis soon we will celebrate with him to the Easter vigil. He will come back soon. We will pray for him. He will come back soon. <laughs> I believe so. On Thursday, Francis tweeted that he was touched by the many messages received in these hours and expressed his gratitude for the closeness and prayer. His hospitalisation has raised fresh concerns over the health of the 86-year-old pontiff and revived speculation over a possible resignation on health grounds. Francis, who this month marked 10 years as Pope, is sometimes short of breath and generally more exposed to respiratory problems. He had part of one lung removed in his early 20s when training to be a priest in his native Argentina. The Pope also suffers from diverticulitis, a condition that can infect or inflame the colon, and has a problem with his right knee that causes mobility issues.